Here we are. Hello, everyone. Welcome home. We are gathered here today on this lovely evening to watch some Eurovision videos. Um, we don't have Maya. If you weren't here for our last video, just FYI, she's still around. She's fine. She ah! No, she's not upstairs. Oh. She just has some social engagements because she has friends that she goes out with and instead of just hanging out with us all the time. This is this is our friends. In our house. <laughs> this is it. And you at home. Uh, <laughs> our virtual friends. But, um, yeah, we are going to react to France's entry for Eurovision 2022 for the first time. Um, I don't know whether to tell Tyler or not. I mean, you as well. Is it in French? It's not. You're lying. I'm not lying. What? I am astonished. So the artist, scandal. The artist is uh, <laughs> Alvan and Ahez, and the song is called Fulen. Okay. I feel like I don't know. It's it. not in French. Is it Fulen? No. It's Fulen. Fulen. I don't know how to pronounce Breton. Is that what that is? Yes. All right, let's go. We... Taking it old school. <laughs> it's a living <laughs> language. <laughs> People who speak it today. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Fur. Give me some earthy, birthy music. Starting off strong. She sounds so casual and just like. Yeah, she's gonna lay it down for us. Whoa. Jacob Collier <laughs> and dresses like Jacob Collier. He's a better dancer than I am. Are they gonna have those vocal effects at Eurovision? I think they are not. Make a way. Hmm. They've done some. Excellent harmonies. Still building. What do you got? What do you got? More fire? Yep. Not enough wind machine. Don't worry. They can get more. What is he playing? <laughs> it looks like a little uke. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I like it. Done. Next. <laughs> yeah, this will all I didn't write anything. I don't have anything to write. I don't even know why I have this. Um. Talk to me. So okay. So and uh, you're you're welcome to cut any of this out that you like. But explain. So they're speaking Britain. 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 Mm -hmm. Which must be an earlier. It's current. Romance language than like it's as. Right, that's not, well, origins would, I guess, French is. It's not related to is French. It's pretty ancient. Yeah. Uh, but obviously a romance language. But is this like 
a region of France. So Breton language is spoken primarily in Brittany. Okay. Yeah. Which um, is which was, among other things, populated really early on from the what are now British people. Yeah, the Britons traveling across to escape the Norman invasion into France, and so like culturally, there's a lot of similarities. Um, language wise, yeah, Breton is the only Celtic language that's spoken in continental Europe. Still, interesting. Yep. Um, okay, uh, that's about the extent they have some pretty awesome bagpipes. <laughs> uh, yeah, the... if you go to like a Celtic film f- film, a Celtic um uh, festival, you'll see like Breton being represented. Okay, so I don't realize that it was like Celtic background, which mm. is, I mean, I've heard of it, but I don't. No idea about right, it. we don't have a lot of exposure to it here right. in the Midwest <laughs> for what should be obvious or, reasons. Or most <laughs> cultural European things, uh, you have to seek them out. Sure. Um, I guess, yeah, so um, I don't know what the, the tiny... Yeah, I don't know a, if that was a legit folk instrument or if that was like, it's, we're going to take a folk instrument and make it whatever yeah, we want. Yeah, it looked like it was basically like an eight-string ukulele. With a bow. With, with a, a bow. bow and yeah. a obviously slide. with a pickup. But anyway, yeah. so I don't know what that was. But that was a cool sound. Yeah. They gave it a, gave it a really cool vibe. Um, costuming, clearly like modernly, modern take on some traditional mm. uh, thing, which I, I really like as well. I think yeah. that that works really well. It looked cool. It was, uh, you know, interesting, the uh, embroidery and such. Mm-hmm. It was really neat. So yeah, um, and there wasn't so much. It wasn't like ah, it's like the the rest was just kind of you know just kind of uh, accent to that. So that was cool. Uh, staging was a little much to me. Like it's like there's just a whole oh, lot think, going on. <laughs> I think the staging was perfectly fine. I think the camera work was a little bit like well, and that, yeah, I guess that could be <laughs> like I'm not sure I can separate the two because the whole video is just like there's just an onslaught of things and so i'm kind of trying to be like okay just oh, i like the stage focusing mostly on the song <laughs> yeah because i don't know it was distracting to me and i i don't really like the smoke and the, the and the green lights and then the fire and the and the moving and the back and forth and there were camera effects and vocal effects and blah, 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 blah. they're just like i i mean it's just a lot it's a whole lot but i like it <laughs> <laughs> uh I made an effort to kind of separate that because sure. the song is really good. Yeah. The song is a, <clears throat> is very driving kind of kind of groovy in the background and again seems to be very folk inspired but very modern take on that mm-hmm. obviously, right? Like a lot of modern elements into that with that kind of underlying folk. Kind of like sound as a, or don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is like it, but kind of like Shum from last year as far as taking an old traditional yep. element and electro-popping it. Yeah, <clears throat> taking a, having a modern, a really modern look at a traditional yeah. uh, art form. Which, which I is, always love that. It's fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Keeps it alive, keeps it modern. Carolina, do you have a thing to say? <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's, a whole, it's a whole repetition of what was already said. But yeah, um, the EDM traditional mashup is really, really cool. It kind of makes me feel like I'm in an underground, like, like you know, one of those deep CD clubs that you have to know somebody to get into. Mm-hmm. Um, especially with all the rave lights. And it just, yeah, I really liked that a lot. Um, this is one that I probably wouldn't skip halfway through. It might be a little bit closer High to praise. the praise. No, that's big, guys. <laughs> she she listened to nearly the whole song. Mm-hmm. I would listen to almost all of it. And I'm not sure if it helps that I don't know the language because it's, while the music itself sounds repetitive and I'm sure what they're saying is repetitive, it doesn't, Some of it. it doesn't feel like it's just on a loop to me. Right. Well, they do a lot of like change ups and yeah, it's great. I like it. Do you guys like it? Let us know what you think about the song in the comments. Tell us all about it. Do you think France will make it to the final this year? Um, <laughs> this might, you know, this is one of their kidding. better entries. They've been, they've been of the automatic entries. They've been the ones really bringing their game on this. Like they, they've been pretty solid. They've the done better over the last two or three years that they're doing the, 
that they have made the biggest leaps in mm. terms of quality because usually the automatic entries are not as good. Sometimes. Sometimes it's a little disappointing, but can be. This year, not disappointed. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you for joining us. We're going to wrap it up here and move on to our next song. Oh, no, who's next? Oh, I know who's next. We're going to listen to Who Serbia next. Serbia. Yeah. Wow. So come back for another video and we will see you there. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.